It is live mailbag time here on the Dallas Cowboys Report, as I'm sure you guys know. All the questions coming in from our live audience on the Cowboys Report. And if we don't get to your question, hit me up on Twitter at WhatGoingDowny. All right, from Joseph, how about we move Jalen to edge rusher and have Micah, Le Leighton Van Der Esch, and Jabril Cox in the middle? So if you're talking about, like, giving him some Sam linebacker reps and letting him come off the edge a little bit, okay, I can have that conversation. But if you're moving Jalen Smith to a full-time edge, it's not going to work. Having a blitzing linebacker like what I think Micah Parsons and or Jalen Smith could do at times is not the same as having an actual, true, pure edge rusher. Jalen's not that guy. He can blitz a little bit, but making him a full-time, like, Vaughn Miller, 3-4 outside linebacker, that path isn't going to work. I am down to put him at Sam and let him kind of play more of a Dorrance Armstrong role from last year where, like, he's actually dropping the coverage a pretty decent amount. In that case, okay. But pure, always coming after the quarterback, it's not going to work. From the Wizard, does Dak have a shot at MVP if his offensive line can stay healthy? I'd argue, yeah, he does. Uh, look, the reality of the MVP is it goes to a great player on a playoff caliber team who exceeds expectations and has plenty of hype around him. Well, that's the case for the Dallas Cowboys. Like, that, I think, absolutely is a possibility for Dallas in 2021. All right, from Andres Gonzalez, with good cover linebackers like Jabril Cox and Keanu Neal, does a 4-4 slash dime hybrid defense make sense? So, yeah, I, I think in general what you're doing with, with those linebackers is I want them on the field as linebackers. I, my goal is not to, like, in this, if you're meaning like a 4-4 dime, like four defense linemen and four linebackers, no. What I am down to do is run what I'm going to call, like, a, a those guys in my nickel packages – like, I want to get better coverage guys out there, which I think Jabril Cox and Keanu Neal can be. So I would rather pull guys like Leighton Van Der Esch or, or you know, Jalen Smith off the field and putting Cox and Neal out there to help me in coverage. I want more linebackers and nickel corners who can cover and centers who can cover, not more linebackers overall, if that makes sense. From Sally Boy, should we trade Leighton Van Der Esch? Also, get Tom to 100K subscribers. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Sally Boy, by the way, we did take a look at a potential Leighton Van Der Esch trade previously on the channel, the, the Trade Candidates video. I think you should at least consider it. That's my mindset there. At least see what the offers are because the numbers game at linebacker is real. All right, from Michael Hawkins, all I'm saying is Garrett Gilbert looked great in one game he played. He should get more starts. As If, he, if he's your backup, sure. Guys, I think we're overhyping how good Garrett Gilbert was in that game because of the quarterback play previously with Ben DiNucci and stuff. He completed 55% of his passes with one touchdown, one interception. I thought he played fine, but not like a starting quarterback level guy. From Raj the Dodger, could Dallas go after Julio Jones or maybe more likely Grady Jarrett? Yeah, so Julio doesn't actually make sense for this team. Like, you have CeeDee Lamb and Amari Cooper and Michael Gallup. And the whole mindset of, oh, we don't want to keep Gallup is going to pay him long term. Julio's going to be more expensive. So Julio's not in the cards, period, as far as I'm concerned, for Dallas. Grady Jarrett, however, does intrigue me. I think he would help your defensive line pretty significantly. He definitely fits the Dan Quinn-style defense. If the Falcons want to trade him, you'd have to extend Jarrett, which Dallas is weird about that. But I like the idea of pick up the phone going, hey, hey, you know, Terry Fontenot, Arthur Smith, what's the cost of Grady Jarrett? Can I get you for a day two pick? If so, I have at least got interest there. I can even throw in a gently used Tristan Hill since there's a numbers game if I were to add Grady Jarrett. So I like that idea if he actually is available. Now I want you guys in the comment section at the pinned comment of today's video, to be exact, name a player that you want to add via free agency or the trade market. Get your votes in right now, especially if you get the ad break here on YouTube. From Logan Bird, do you think Simi Fehoko is going to get a role if Cooper or Gallup get hurt during the season? Parentheses, 
Hope not. You've got three roster locks at the receiver position. It's Cooper, Gallup, and Lamb. Cedric Wilson, Noah Brown, not much guaranteed money. I think those guys make the roster. I'd bet the Cowboys could carry six, but I think if Fehoko impresses, the Cowboys are hopeful he can potentially replace Gallup or maybe Cooper in 2022 as the number three receiver behind CeeDee Lamb and whichever one of those two guys end up sticking around long term. From James Owens, realistic expectations this year. I think winning the NFC East is absolutely possible. I think that makes sense. I think the Cowboys, and I know that they are the favorites, and I think they should compete for it. Now, beyond that, making a playoff run, look, once you get there, crazy stuff happens, but I think a more realistic goal is, you know, you win the division and maybe you win a playoff game. Unless the defense takes a massive step forward, I don't think this year is quite the Cowboys' true go-all-in type of season. Now, if you guys want more NFL coverage, head over to youtube.com slash chatsportstv. We got daily NFL videos for you guys on everything going on, news and rumors, trades. We do mailbags over there as well. So the link is below. It'll be in the comment section and the description as well. Go check it out. It's youtube.com slash chat sports TV. I'm on that channel all the time, breaking down everything going on around the NFL. From Cheese Wiener, okay. Uh, what's your expectations? You broke producer Jeremy, by the way, with that name. He's, he's just laughing his head off over there. Expectations for the defense this year. Um, I would love to get them like top 15-ish, and I'm going to use DVOA in that area. I think the offense being so good is going to help the defense look better if, of course, Dax is healthy, blah, blah, blah. So I'm hoping for, like, top 20. That'd be a pretty good sign of growth there from what the Cowboys were last season. From Carlos Esperanza, if Zeke has a bad year, do we stick with Pollard or draft a running back? So the way that Zeke's contract is set up, if he is bad, you can't move him. You're kind of stuck with him, more or less. So... I think that they could draft the A back as well. It might be a both scenario. Let's say the Cowboys decide, hey, we got one more year of Zeke, then we're done. At that point, I think you might see them stick with Pollard and also spend a day three-ish pick on a back and see if he could be a piece for you in the long run as well. DeLunatic, another super chat here, a couple in a row right now. Dallas versus Bucks, shootout or defensive battle? I mean, I'm going to lean shootout. I will say this, though, it's the very first game of the season. So I think you also might see a situation where it's a little bit sloppy. Things aren't the prettiest in terms of the flow and the game and everything. So I am leaning towards shootout, but I think it might be a bit of an ugly, sloppy game because there's not going to be that much experience, and there are going to be some rusty players. In all reality, probably including Dak Prescott. From Kevin Malone, could Israel Mukwamu start? That is the Cowboys' sixth-round rookie who's getting run at safety, as we kind of suspected was going to be the second he was drafted out of South Carolina. The possibility exists in some level because there's no depth at safety. I mean, Israel Mukwamu as a sixth-round pick should not be starting for you. If he is, I would say something did not go right, probably with Demonte Cage's recovery from his torn Achilles. But beyond Mukwamu... There's Darian Thompson, and you're going to put Donovan Wilson at free safety? I, I mean, maybe, but I don't love that idea. I guess it's a maybe a better option than some of the others out there, like Darian Thompson. Going to put Deontay Burton back there. Like, Is Jordan Lewis going to play safety? Like, it's so thin, because the Cowboys hate me, that they didn't add a real safety beyond Casey this year. So the sixth-round rookie who's got some position flex guy corner safety? Possible, I'd say unlikely, but... Because of the, the potential for snaps, I can't rule it out altogether. So get your votes in for me right now in the comments section. Who is your favorite Cowboys rookie for 2021? Get your votes in right now. Angry Boss 52 I'm going to call that square there because he put it in there twice. Who do you think will be our standout three players on defense this year? Uh, Demo uh, how about I rank the ones I feel most confident in? Demarcus Lawrence is number one. I want to think Trevon Dixon is step forward, and I feel pretty good about that one. 
I actually low-key feel pretty good about Randy Gregory. I think a full normal offseason is going to do wonders for him this year. So of those three, those are the standout names. Then it's kind of like, you know, maybe hopefully it's Micah Parsons. Maybe one of those interior defensive linemen emerge, be it Gallimore or Hill or Brett Irvin or Quinton Bahanna, whatever. But I'd say those three. Lawrence Gregory Diggs I'm the most confident in right now. From Hattrick123, hey, Tom, could you rate the players of the Cowboys' starting lineup? Like, for example, Dak's an A quarterback, Zach Martin's an A-plus guard, big fan from Germany. That might need to be an entire video, my friend. So, overall, like, I'll just quickly assign, like, the offense. The offense overall is an A. The defense is C, D, something along those lines. But I appreciate Hattrick all the way from Germany. That's awesome. Thank you very much, my friend.